Good morning. Wednesday morning, gonna go play some golf. I'm very happy about that. My goal today is to have fun. My goal is to have no expectations. I have just always played my best golf when I had no expectations. And so that's what I'm gonna do. The challenge is going to be after a mistake, either a mental mistake or physical mistake, to just move on and put it behind me. I don't want to let um, one stroke or one hole that is that's negative affect anything going forward. So uh, I never add up my score as I'm playing. I try not to think about it. And um, what I'm going to do is just really try to have as much fun as possible. I'm going to be walking so I'll get some exercise, which is good. This will probably be my exercise, my workout for the day, this walk. And um, the goal is to have a good time. So, back on the fifth hole, I made a quadruple bogey seven. I had a ball that um, went to the hazard, but not in the hazard. I played a shot that I thought I could play. Ended up, it wasn't the right play. Made a seven. So that's quadruple bogey. So um, after that, three putt bogey, three putt bogey, and uh, what's happened is I've just, I've really just kind of lost focus on what I should be doing, and now. Uh, I just played the 10th hole and made another just bogey from indifference. And, and so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm really going to in, go back to what I talked about earlier. I'm going to try to enjoy, enjoy the day. And I'm just going to play one shot at a time the best that I can and try to take something positive away from this. It's, it's very easy just to say, oh, my round is gone. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a waste of coming out, but I'm not going to look at it that way. I'm going to just forget about everything that happened before and starting with this next shot, I'm going to do my best and take something positive from this. So we've got what I would say is a, a teachable moment as far as course management goes. If you look over here at the flagstick, it's cut fairly close to the edge of the green, and the green is sloping away from me. You can also see, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but my actual lie is a little bit of a downhill lie. So it's really gonna be difficult for me to get the maximum amount of loft on this ball. It's very, very um, common because of the situation of where the flag is to try to hit this ball up in the air really high have it stop between the edge of the green and the flag and then have it trickle down to the hole the problem is is if I'm a little bit short it's not gonna reach the green it's gonna be back on the slope and then I've got a, a tricky little downhill chip so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be smart here and I'm gonna attempt to make sure I miss it on the green so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to really try to hit a perfect shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, try to land this ball a good four or five feet on the green and let it roll down. If I hit it the way I intend to, it's, I'm going to have probably a five or six footer at least coming back, maybe even a 10 footer coming back up the hill, but I don't want to end up in a situation where I'm going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to be chipping again up there. So here we go. So missing, missing long. Just sing along. Just sing along. Okay. Not bad, and it's going by a little bit. So it's less than 10 feet, so I would say that's a really good shot. I get a very good chance to make that putt come back up the hill for par, where if I try to get too cute with it, I'm you know chipping for par and it could be anything. So plan it safe, made my four. I'll take it. I'll so just finished up and uh, didn't play great right on the back. I did manage to make a birdie and an eagle. And uh, what I'll do is when I get done with this round later today, when I'm I'm relaxed a little bit, I'll go over I'll go over in my mind a little bit what happened, look over my scorecard and see where opportunities were lost.
in looking at it, the, the things I really have to focus, focus on physically is I've got to spend some time hitting, hitting my three wood. The other thing I have to do is I have to work on my putting. I have to work on my putting to the extent where I feel completely comfortable lagging the ball up close. And I also have to be good enough on short putts where I just know I can just see that line at four feet and, and knock it in the hole. From the mental standpoint, I've got to do a better job of just focusing on the shot and uh, staying completely in the moment and doing the best I really can to the shot. And that's going to help me play better. Adam is here. Adam's been out of town. Adam, where you been? Costa Rica. Costa Rica? Yeah, I just got back. Before we expect Adam to really excel on the big boy course, that we're going to let him get really good here at the, at the mini golf course. 